Hey, hey, all right, we're doing a quick unboxing. I just got in the uh, Sony A93. Here's the box, and there's the camera. There, I did my unboxing. That's as much as the unboxing I'm going to do. wanted to show, this is the uh, Sony A6700, so you can see the difference in size. Uh, you know, the A9 is a little bit bigger, and lots of cool stuff on it. Unfortunately, I've been shooting with the uh, A6700. I have two of them. Actually, that's one that's videoing me right now, and this is the other one. So I don't have full-frame lenses. The, the A9 came in a little bit quicker than I expected. So right now I have a Tamron 17-70 to uh, APS-C lens on it, crop lens, on the A9. Let me move this out of the way real quick here. And here's the... Uh, Oh, there we go. The A9. Two. A9-3. Actually, A9-3. And uh, I've set up a couple custom things on it that I've changed. you got your C1, C2. You've got a button way down in here. You've got a button back here. You can change some buttons here. So what I've done, uh, for my liking at least, is when I press... C1, let me see here if you can see this. Now, no <laughs> no card slot, of course. Uh, actually, so C1, I have this set for image preview, because normally you have to reach way down here. I want to be able to just push the button here. That's how I have my 6700 set up. And then C2, I have that set for ISO. should be able to see that. And then my C3 way over here, I now have that set for white balance, so I could change that. And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna set some other things up here, but that's some of the main things the way I like to shoot. Anyways, I went and shot some today, and uh, I have it working with some help <laughs> from uh, DP Review. I couldn't get the, my flashes working. I'm using uh, Godox flashes in the. Uh, I have a uh, a couple of the AD two hundred flashes. So, anyways, I did get that working, and I'm going to take it out tomorrow. We're going to go out on the beach because I I mainly shoot everything on the beach. The whole reason I bought this camera is for the uh, flash sync speeds, so I can go out and knock down the sun a little bit better. When I'm working on the beach, we shoot wedding and, and portraits on the beach, shoot around 120 jobs a year. We're already booking a lot of stuff already for this year. I've already done one wedding. Uh, actually, I've been using the A6700 since this came out instead of using my full frame cameras because it works just fine. Actually, the focus system is fantastic on it. But uh, this is pretty interesting that it has these double dials on back here on the back here. Uh, I got to figure out what I'm even going to set one of these to. Because uh, I've got like shutter speed and aperture, and then what am I going to do here? Uh, and then I'm right, I've got set a manual here. I'm going to set up these one, two, three buttons the same way I have on my A6700. So that's uh, all normal when I grab either camera. Uh, what's interesting is the button over here, you can move this from autofocus single shot to autofocus continuous to drive to manual focus. Put it back to continuous. And here you've got a whole dial full of different speeds of speed shootings. Shooting. Well, I'm not much of a speed shooter uh, at weddings and portraits, so that's not the reason I bought the camera. Anyways, I went out and shot some pictures today. Wanted to show you a little bit the camera. There, we can turn it around. And I feel this, this door here, this is pretty weird. I kept pushing this button when I got it. I was like, well, it's not opening. It's not opening. What's going on? You have to push it down and pull up to get it open. And that's where the two card slots are. And then push that back down. Uh, so now I, under, I understand that. You've got your flip out screen. That uh, flip this out. Let me see. I mean, it's the first time I've pulled this out. How does it flip out? Okay, it goes out this way. Oh, it comes down. So then you can flip it out and have it facing forward like that. Of course, you could flip this screen here, I think. Yeah, there we go. 
could flip that that way. I will probably, let me see if this can do this. On the A6700s, I flip the screen in like that because I just used the viewfinder for everything. I'm going to uh, play back an image of I'm put my hand up high in front of the camera there. It's going to automatically focus on me. Uh, so I use the viewfinder. I, I'm not, I'm not out showing people pictures on the back of the screen. That's not, that's not what I'm hired to do. So now let's get into looking at some of the pictures. But first of all, there's a weird thing. I'm having a problem with this viewfinder. Uh, I've got to look more into it. Maybe there's some kind of settings. But uh, first off, like I said, I'm shooting everything in cropped mode, which is just fine. Works great. And uh, the the viewfinder view is the way it is right now. It's terrible. Uh, I, I, I will not keep the camera <laughs> if the viewfinder cannot be fixed with some kind of setting in here. Because right now when you look in the viewfinder, it's kind of distorted looking. The picture starts to literally start to go like this when you're looking at the screen and you look at like a building with lines in it. The lines literally start to go like this in the viewfinder as you're looking at it. Uh, hopefully it's just a setting that's not right and it's not a problem with the camera I got. But uh, and like you look at someone's face and you can barely even make out their eyes because it starts looking pixelated and all distorted. But then when I would play back an image that I shot... That does look pretty good on there, so I'm not sure what's going on. I'm going to look into that. So anyways, let's get into some of the pictures from today. But uh, this is just a first look with some quick pictures uh, around town by the beach. And we're going to take it out tomorrow and go shoot on the beach and shoot some of uh, the high flash sync stuff to knock down the sun. Exactly what I bought the camera for. I've got it working. And let's move on. Okay, let's get to looking at some photos. Uh, this is my dog. <laughs> you see a lot of pictures of him today. And here he is uh, after he just dug a big hole and he's full of dirt. Anyways, this is the Sony A9 III. Here we see some bokeh in the background. And once again, this is in cropped mode with the cropped lens, the Tamron lens. Some more bokeh in the background. So you can shoot in cropped. It works just fine. Comes out to be about 10.4 megapixels little bit of uh, greener uh, pine cones. Those are mini pine cones just starting to grow in the backyard there. We got a forest right behind us. Some nice shiny leaves. And this is a really good lens, actually. It's nice and crisp and sharp. There's some more bokeh. Nice blurred background. And here's some more bokeh. Shooting some fence. I'm putting up a fence for the dog, so that's one of the posts. Nice and smooth. Now this is inside in the house. I'm shooting this seasoning salt. Next, we're going to switch over to the sea salt. Nice and sharp. Uh, no, no complaints whatsoever here. Everything's working good. Okay, I wanted to stop for just a minute. Uh, I'm starting to get a good amount of views of people, but I'm not getting a lot of people subscribing. Uh, that would really help me out to get this channel going because I've got a lot more videos I'm going to be making. I spend a good amount of time putting them together, and I hope I'm doing a really good job for you guys. So please like and subscribe to my channel. So now let's get back to the photos. Okay, more photos. This is a house we went and uh, looked at today because uh, they're going to have a wedding there. And we needed to check out to see where the setup is going to be and everything. So I took a couple pictures of it. This is on the Back Bay area. And this is a new hotel they're building across the street from this beach park. This is in Gulf Shores, Alabama, by the way, at Gulf Place. This is a big park right here. This is where they have the big music festivals and everything. And more from my dog. The dog is a soft-coated Wheaton Terrier. And this is a place called The Hangout. It's right on the beach there. There's a little boardwalk out front. You can walk down the beach. This is a little light or something. It looked pretty neat, so I shot a picture of it real quick. And this is a, a hotel. <laughs> And next, we're going to see a little bar area that's popular on the beach there, the Pink Pony. Everything was, the, the playback of the pictures looks great, but like I said, that's, there's my wife. Her hair's blowing a little bit in the wind. She's probably not real happy I posted this. 
But uh, everything was working good. Oh, there, look, no drone operation down there on the beach or in this whole town. That kind of upsets me. I wanted to buy a drone. Uh, but getting back to the viewfinder, it, it's just not clear and crisp uh, at all. It's, it's like distorted. Uh, everything looks distorted. Buildings and with things with a lot of lines look very wavy. Even my wife looked at it and she's like, oh my God. Uh, you know, and we've had lots of uh, mirrorless cameras. I've got uh, three different, well, four, three, four, five, six, seven Nikon mirrorless cameras. And now this is my third Sony camera. And the viewfinder, whatever's going on, this is not even close to the quality of the A6700. That is, it's better. This is a bigger viewfinder. It looks like it would be nice and sharper, better than the A6700. But right now, it's not performing better than the A6700. This is a shot going straight up the building there. We're almost done. This is just a quick preview. I'm going to get out and shoot some more and uh, show you some flash sync, hopefully. <laughs> Little beach. Uh, this is right, right across the street. Well, right basically on the beach. Right on the other side here, you walk out and you're on the beach. Hope you enjoyed this. Okay, that was my first look at the Sony A9 III. A couple photos you get to see. You get to see my dog in there. And that, that is uh, Gulf Shores Beach area around town, down the road from us. We're in our off-season right now, but it's still quite busy here because we have snowbirds that come down. Uh, the temperature, I think we were probably like 75 degrees or something today. A little bit windy, but it uh, wasn't, definitely wasn't cold. So uh, I'll see you next time. And uh, we're going to go out and shoot tomorrow and maybe the next day. And we're going to put together another video showing how well the flash sync does to knock down the sun for portraits. The reason I bought this camera. Talk to you later. Bye.